In this video we will discuss the following problem. Find an equation for the line through the point 2, 1, which is also perpendicular to another line y equals to 5x minus 3. Okay, so here I already graphed, you know, I put this point to 1 and I graph this line y equals to 5x minus 3 and the way I graphed it is I simply chose the y-intercept so when x is equal to 0 we can see when you plug in 0 you get y is equal to minus 3 so we have this point on the y-axis at y equals to minus 3 so this is just the intercept and then I just chose x equals to 1 because when you plug in 1 you get y equals to 5 minus 3 which is 2 Okay, so I just took this point uh, 1, 2 and draw, draw a line through these two points. And so the question is to find a line which was perpendicular to this line passing through the point 2, 1. So it will look something like this. Okay, and so the angle here will be 90 degrees. So these two lines will be perpendicular to each other. And so the equation for this line y equals to mx plus b is what we want to find. So we want to find uh, m and b. So first I simply want to give the answer uh, without any explanation so that you know you can remember it and if you need to use it you can just use it right away. Right? So let's remember that if we have two lines, let's say given by the formula y equals to m1x plus some b1 and another line y equals to m2x plus b2 and these two lines are perpendicular to each other then the slopes of these two lines satisfy the relationship that if you multiply them m1 times m2 should be equals to should be equal to minus 1 so in particular in this case one slope uh, is 5 and so the second slope should satisfy this equation 5 times m is equal to minus 1 and so the slope of this second line is minus 1 fifth and then we also want this line to pass through the point 2, 1. So we just plug in that 1 should be equal to the slope, which is minus 1 fifth at 2. So when x is 2 plus b, that should be equal to 1. And from here we find uh, the value b. Right? So b should be 1 plus 2 over 5, which is 7 over 5. Right, then the answer to this problem will be minus x over 5 plus 7 over 5. So this is the line which is perpendicular to the original line and it passes through the point 2.1. Now notice that here we consider both lines uh, that are not vertical because we write y as a function of x. And a vertical line cannot be written as a function of x. But of course, the case where one line is vertical, the perpendicular line will be horizontal is kind of a trivial case. And so you just have to notice, let's say the original line was not 5x uh, minus 3, but it was just y equals to minus 3. This is a horizontal line the y is always equal to minus 3 for any value of x. That means that the perpendicular line would be a vertical line and which vertical line goes through the point uh, 2, 1? Well, it's the line that has the same coordinate x as that point. So in other words, the answer would be the line x equals to 2 where here you are thinking of x as a function of y. 
And so remember that this relationship that the product of the slopes is equal to minus 1 is excluding this kind of trivial case, right? Here we are talking about both lines where x is an independent variable. Okay, so now let's um, discuss why this is indeed the case, why this formula uh, holds. And so let's consider a couple of lines, like in this picture, which are perpendicular to each other. And let's say the first line is given by this equation y equals to m1x plus b1. So m1 is the slope. And the second line has a similar equation where some other uh, constant m2 is the slope. And let's try to find that relationship between m1 and m2. But first of all, let's recall that if we consider the following triangle, then the slope of this first line, m1, can be written as the rise over run, right? So delta y over delta x, where delta x is, is this side and delta y is this side of the triangle. Right? So in particular, you know, in this picture, the rise is 2 in this triangle and the run is 4, so the slope of this line is 0.5. And because these two lines are perpendicular, if you rotate this first picture by 90 degrees, you will get a similar picture for the second line. Okay, where this top side of the triangle is uh, delta y in length, and uh, this right side is, is delta x. So if you write the slope of the second line as a rise over run, well notice that as you go between these two points, so this point and this point, the first coordinate now changes by delta y. So actually in the denominator the run here will be equal to delta y. But at the same time, the second coordinate changes. So if you go from the first point to the second point, it changes by delta x, but in the negative direction, it's decreasing. So actually, the rise here will be minus delta x. Well, in this particular case, if you write this as uh, minus 4 divided by 2, you will get minus 2. But even in general, if you now write m1 times m2, the m1 was delta y over delta x, and then m2 was minus delta x divided by delta y, and if you cancel delta y and delta x, so you get exactly minus 1. Okay, so this kind of simple picture explains the formula that we wrote about that m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. Okay, when both lines are written as y as a function of x.